Hi guys, Zima Baby here. Vlog time. Uh, first off, I have to say sorry about last week, I never done a vlog because when it was due to get released, it was on my birthday and I wasn't doing a uh, recording on my birthday. So that's why there was no vlog last week. But I'm here this week. Um, the first thing is the stuff that come in last well, over the last two weeks has been my three bottles of frozen pond concentrate and that's it that's what's come in not received nothing else um, I did go away today and buy this here but I'll tell you more about that later and um, so I've nothing to show you wise um, what have I been vaping on this week though I've been using the Freemax Conqueror kit and the Neutral Star tank from Freemax as well. Um, so that's the two items that's getting reviewed this week. I'm going to have you vape. What's coming up for review next week is the Vupu Demon and the Yolong Xbox Zero One. So it's this Gronk box. Not that idea it's on it. And this RDA. Um, I was going to leave this the demon until I was doing H drip squonker, but we hit having a flat head screw on the bottom it actually makes the H drip leak. So I'm hoping that this isn't a flat head maybe it's one of the odd shaped ones so that's what we get getting reviewed next week or the week after I should say that's what I'll be using next week so there we are right. this is the edge drip um, I don't know if you remember but I've done a video for the hard short that's in there to fix that. Well it turned out that someone had it leaking down inside from the 510 because apparently there's no o-rings or nothing in it. I've sort of taken mine to bit and half a look. Um, so that's why I've changed the demon off it because it has a flat head 510 which means that the liquid can go out either side and I'll obviously leak inside it. If I do find anything wrong with this I will inform you. Um, it has been leaking a wee bit with me with a demon on it so that's why I'm not going to use it. I'm going to try and get something to fix it so you don't have to go away out and buy a new 510 for it. And it's bad enough that you had to do the fix for the hard shot without having to go out and buying something for the 510. So this could be a crap box to purchase. I'm not much sure what to fix it. This seems to be okay. Mm. Doubt it for a week, but I'll find out during the week when I use it. Um, what did I do the last couple of weeks? Not last week, week before I'd done 
Then a N1 Pro 240 watt kit. Mm, still heavy. It's not going to get in the lighter. Batteries are out there for it, so I can't use it. I still quite like this. Even though it's heavy. You won't you will notice if you lose it, that's one thing. Just with the weight of it. Um, and I also done the all in one the C flat. Still good if you want to sell stealth vape somewhere. Um, or if you're just starting out in the vaping or starting to vape. Um, it's a good week at that. I've done the Vapjoy Viper. I've got hit somewhere. Yeah, it's. Yeah. So I've done that. Just making sure I've got juice on it. So interesting that one with the two different size air slots. Mm -hmm. If you like me, you use it halfway, it doesn't matter which one you use. Mm -hmm. It's all down to personal preference and the size of coil that you've got in it, which air holes you use in it. It's still sitting there. And I've done the Yoster kit. Well, the Yosta Lifepo 256 and the Igve RDT A25. Um, still got juice in it, still using it. Need to get batteries put back in it for when I want to use it. But it's still that glass piece at the top. Just wish I'd made it so you could turn it to close off the air floats in the top. Mm, rather than putting one of these stupid vape bands on to close off the airflow at the top so you can reduce it down the bottom but other than that it was actually okay because it doesn't leak I had it sitting in my tub for over a couple of days without a drop coming out which is good for an RDTA because usually you do that and it just starts leaking out straight away but it seems to be fine so that's where I'm keeping it. Mm. And the Vapor Storm 200 watt. I still like that. I'm whether I'm going to keep this in the house or start using it to replace this. Um, small and Chun TC218 couldn't remember what they end up with um, so I'm in two minds whether to change it or just keep that until it breaks and then change to this and just use this in the house at the moment so it hits on my keep shelf up there um, cup tea That's everything vape wise. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that's the free max kit. When you're putting batteries on, you have to make sure there's no labels on them. Um, like, that's one of my triple battery, see I've got one C3 which means it's set one C battery and the third one, eh, three for the amount in the set um, so if I try and use that when I put it in I'll just take that label off so if you're using any batteries that you've wrapped without taking the old wrap off they won't fit, it is a really tight fit for that or a snug fit for it that's the only downside that I can find that's showing me the mod at the moment is that 
it's taken labels off batteries. Mm -hmm. Right, the ones I've got new stickers there on them. I can't use it because I just pulling them off. Um, so that's the only downside for that at the moment. Sorry, it was just my batteries falling down. Um, right, back to this. I did say I was getting a new camera and I had to go over to Edinburgh today to pick it up. So I've got a new camera, battery's on charge because I want to charge it before I actually use it. Um, the battery was totally flat. So I want to get the battery up to full charge before I use it. Um, when I stick it up, they have to do my up close. It just fits. But this cable here is in my rod. So I'm going to have to try and get a USB extension cable for it and move the plug from under there to down there um, and then use a USB extension cable to run up to it for vents up there so I can use it here and there. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll change over to this camera for the time being. I'll use it for a couple of minutes, if that, um, just to show you the quality. I've not done no settings or nothing because I'm just trying to get the battery charged. So we'll go down, well I've changed cameras now, and then I'll go on that and then we'll come back. So this is a new camera, um, there is a light that's shining right there, that went off. Um, which is annoying, so that's got to have to get switched off to start with um, just so it doesn't blind me I'm hoping the video quality is better um, doesn't ma matter about sound because I'm going to get a mic, or I'm getting a mic and it's on its way from China so hopefully it should come soon but this is the quality you'll get with this camera um, up top and both uh, and over here. As I say, I just have to get a USB extension cable for when it's up here. So the cable is not in my rod when I'm recording. Um, so hopefully I could get that on Tuesday. I'll try and go shop on Tuesday and get it. Um, just so I can get it up and running. I'll just have to wait and see. Um, is there anything else I have to mention? Oh, I have to give Vaping with Vic a thumbs up for giving my shout out and the what's up that he done a couple of weeks ago, I think it was. Um, so, thanks Vic. I think that's everything. Um, what was said in my comments for the last vlog? Dave Lesion, keep it up, liking the videos. Um, Graham Spears, nice vlog Matt, keep going mate, you're doing fine. I'll check out your Facebook page to see what good is your film, thanks again. Um, Spuds40, thanks Matt, great vlog. Um, Gothic G-Man, Matt did you get your spider from Gear Beso? How long did it take? I'm over a month now and trying to get the money back from them. Never there were more incompetent incompetent people in my life. I'll never buy them again. No, I got my spider from Fast Tech. I always use UK Express e packet shipping wise. Um, that way it's between six to ten days after they ship it, I receive it. Um, you may pay a couple of dollars for it. But you're not waiting two, three weeks for any items to come to you. You're only just a week or over. Um, so that's everything from there. 
Uh, shows you what's coming up next week. Use, still use my new camera. Uh, Mm. There's my old camera, it's just a wee dinky thing. Mm. I may keep it for a backup. Or I'll pass it on to somebody else that may want to start reviewing or doing vlogs. Mm. I haven't been watching much because I've not had time. Mm -hmm. Let me check my history. Mm -hmm. Stuff that I have been watching has been nothing at all to do with vaping. Um, I think I did watch Vic's WhatsApp last week. I don't seem to have it there for some reason. Yeah, I must have done. Mm, just check. Yeah, I did. So that's everything that I can think of. And hopefully, I can get this up and running properly. For it won't be doing. It won't be for doing these reviews. I don't think. And it'll probably be for doing the next what which will be these ones here mm. just grab a battery for it that's what's going away So if I've actually got juice in the bottle, I hope I've got juice. No, I was juice in it. And I've over swamped. Because there's a demon squonks from the top of the positive post, it doesn't actually drain the juice back down, so you can't actually over squonk with it. I mean, I've been a super soft ball that's in that, it was easy enough to over squonk with it. I'm going to have to. Watch out for that. Mm. I'm just trying to use the juice that's in it. So I don't pick up again and squonk straight away as I usually do. She's on another camera. Right, so we're back onto the old camera. And the new one's back there charging. Well, I hope the video quality was better on the new camera than what was on this one. And hopefully you notice a difference. But for me, the main difference is being able to charge it and use it at the same time. Mm, I don't know if I'll get any fear and shit. I won't know until I've checked the video quality of it. Um, it may actually be picking up my computer which is down here. Um, hopefully it hasn't. So I can get my other camera. Um, but just have to wait and see. Just 
So I'm hoping that this doesn't leak like the extra drip. It shouldn't got so totally different five ten minutes on it. Thing I've all said. I'll tell you what I'm been vaping this week, uh, what I've reviewed the last two weeks, what vape mills came in. Um, I think that's about it. I can't think of anything else. Um, no. I think that was it. If I forgot anything, I'll mention it in my next vlog. Mm. Yeah. I was going to post pictures of the new camera, but I'm not going to bother. Mm. Since I'm doing this vlog and people can see it on the vlog. I think that's it. That's all I've got to say. Um, there's no new news. Well, apart from everybody that's at Vape Expo, I hope you've had a great time. You should be coming back home now. Um, I did hear that there was some people getting their things stolen from inside their bags um, or their pin, oh, their mod on our counter to look at something else somebody's coming and taking it which is very bad news and it's given us a bad name which shouldn't be so if anybody actually seen anybody doing that I hope you reported it to somebody to try and catch them because we're spending our hard earned money for the vape stuff that we're purchasing and then somebody's coming along and taking it from you um, or stealing it, which is really bad. Um, that's not very nice at all. I'll try to think who it was. I can't even remember who it was that posted it up, saying that they were getting a, there was thieving going on, stealing. But I hope everybody went did have a good time. I just wish I was there, but it didn't happen not got the funds because I've been trying to get one of these um, so I'm not running with this and trying to charge a battery or remembering to charge a battery before I go and use it yeah, with that one I don't have to which is good um, I have got one item coming to me and I can't remember what it is. It is the 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 Savant Vape Triple Twenty Eight RTA. It's coming to me, so I'll have had to show off in my next vlog. It's in the post to me. Um, the Smock Oaken O Sub King. Um, I've extended that date again. So I'm thinking about cancelling it until they get in stock and then reordering it. Um, I'll make my mind up tomorrow. Yeah, because tomorrow's Monday. Um, so you may not actually get that f till end of December. Because at the moment I am up to... Yeah, I'm up to about the end of December already with stuff that I've ordered because I placed an order last week for one, two, three, four, five, five items. Yeah, five items and a webcam so I can try and get. Um, 
why vlogs done or question and answer um, anything like that because that camera won't do it and um, just reading on reviews for it it's not going to allow me to do that from that camera so I had to go and get a separate webcam because I don't have one up here I've got one on my laptop which isn't that great I've used it a couple of times in Hangouts, but that's it. Um, the quality of it isn't that good. I don't think so anyway. Um, I don't know what it sounds like. No one said if I'm sounding too quiet or not. But I'd rather have a webcam up here so I could sit up here and do it. I just have to get rid of all this junk that's out here. Over there. First. Try and hide it again. Um, so that's just loads of junk. No, it's not junk because there's a box of computer cables there and all my high vis vest stuff. Or high vis stuff. Some of work. Oh, talking about which, I've got an interview on Tuesday um, for a company closer to home and it's day shift Monday to Friday, I think. Or that's the job I applied for, but they're trying to put me on to something else. But I'll wait and see what happens there. So I'll have an update for that for next week to tell you how things are going to go regarding the channel and um, if it'll be sticking to three to two three reviews plus a vlog or if it'll cut down to maybe two reviews maximum in a vlog it just depends what shifts or what hours I'm working and if I have time to do vlogs and reviews I'm reckon I should have because I could always do the reviews when I come home from work and do a vlog on a Sunday or even do a vlog during the week too. It just depends on the hours that I get. Um, and I think that's everything that I have to say. I'm gonna go. Don't know how long this is gonna be from start to finish. Um, but at least there won't be a break in it because I've stopped recording and started again with this three four gig thing. I'll have to check with that one to see how long it's going to record for um, before it changes or cuts and starts again and hopefully it doesn't because it will save me have to stop record, start record so it doesn't run over whatever gig they're giving me per file which is a pain um, so I've got that to all do to so, thanks for watching this. I hope I've not bored you too much, which I probably have. You know, you've been halfway through it and said, oh, I'm not watching the email. Um, but thanks if you managed to get this far. And I will catch you next Monday, hopefully. Is it next Monday vlog time? Yeah. So, should be Monday the vlog goes up live um, or early Tuesday morning just depends what time I get the vlog done and um, when I get it edited and uploaded I'll try and get the new camera up for the vlog I'll try I'm not promising anything but I will try right so that's, <laughs> that's how I'm going <laughs> my tea's about finished anyway that's it finished so I'm finished thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed this and I'll speak to you next week <laughs> bye just now